So good morning. Um, I am trying something a little bit different today because I've been doing a lot of sort of produced videos and I thought it might be kind of fun to bring you guys into a day um, in my life. And what I'm doing today is I'm actually working to get all of my health and beauty routines back up to snuff. I've been really, really caught up in work since the coronavirus. And um, I think everybody has a different level at which they're starting out, but I just know that I haven't been taking the best care of myself. And so um, anyway, I'm starting my day out right today. Um, I showered before I did anything else and um, I actually had a spray tan on, so I had to get rid of that. But anyway, just wanted to bring you guys in into the reality of it. So I'm actually working right now. I've got my gratefulness journal out and I'm writing down some things that I'm grateful for. I'm writing down my goals for the day. And um, I actually was listening to Tony Robbins as I was getting my coffee ready. So just getting my mind in the correct mindset because I feel like there's so much stuff going on and the most important thing is to be in the right place mentally. So I am doing that. I've already got a glass of water, I have my coffee, and um, I actually have a meeting that's going to happen in about 20 minutes. So um, I have some products I sell on Amazon, also on my beauty website, and I'm going to be talking to a new person that might be helping me as a consultant because the consultant that I had um, just didn't really answer. He took about two weeks to answer, which is not that helpful in business. So anyway, uh, good morning, and the dogs are just all hanging out here with me, but um, I will see you guys in a little bit. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good, you? Um, so Hello. what would you like to know? And it's really nice to meet you over the phone. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, I would really like to know uh, what are you thinking for your Amazon product? How many skills do you have? Do you have your own brand of products? All this kind of I started selling on Amazon about two years ago and basically I, I make my own product. Um, it's a private label product. S somebody was helping a little bit but it's really hard to get a response from them so I feel like I could have accomplished a lot more but if I ask a question it could be weeks before I get a reply. They're bleach resistant makeup towels. Um, they are uh, they say makeup they're meant to protect your towels and I trademarked the name the little black towel I just launched my second SKU um, which it's maquillaje I signed on with a marketing company which is responsible for bringing new or bringing new products into Target um, and so and I really want to work on my brand but I just don't think it really behooves me to try like I can't be good at everything <laughs> and I'm not good at Amazon all right, so this seems to be what happens every day. I have the best laid intentions and um, I'm like, I'm going to be on my fitness plan. It's all about me. I'm goal driven. And then I get caught up with work. It's, it's pretty much every day. So I am putting on my sneakers. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I have two scoops of bulletproof protein and one frozen banana, so I always have bananas just sectioned off in Ziploc bags so I can throw them into my shake and go. Um, I'm working on adding a little bit of lean muscle and I think that the only way to do that is to make sure to eat enough so I have my shake all packed and ready to go. This is one of the challenges of being a working person. There goes my phone telling me I need something. But anyway, I've got my shake packed, I've got my gym bag packed, my workout is written down, and I'm getting it done either way. Hello, all right, so I'm back from the gym, and I, did, I do a full body workout every single day. Well, actually not every single day, every single work day. Um, I've been going to the gym two days a week, and if you're wondering why I'm looking down, um, we're just about to go out on our walk, and my dogs require a lot of grooming, so, I'm grooming and chatting because that is the story of my life. I'm never just doing one thing. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are with me, but I'm always doing multiple things. Um, and this is just part of my day. I guess if you have kids, if you have like little girls, you're probably doing their hair um, or doing something with your kids. My dogs are my kids, so they're, they're all around me because they know that when their little like hair comb and tiny pink scissors and I have like a bag of 
elastics. So when these things come out, they know that it's time and we're gonna go out on a walk to the public gardens, which is always super beautiful. Um, so I went to the gym today and I am just really focusing on all the things that are gonna bring my health back. And I know that everybody starts out in a different spot for their health. So some people might already be in a really good spot and they might just want to get a little bit healthier and in better shape. Um, I think it's really been, <laughs> sorry as I look down and, and brush while I chat, but um, I wanna get outside before it's dark because when it's dark in the city, it's not as safe. So the sooner I get outside, the better. Um, and so basically everybody has a starting point and I know that one thing that people say to me a lot when I know that I have a little bit of work to do is they say, oh, well, don't worry, you're already in shape. But I think it's all relative and you have to know where you want to be and um, you know, have reasonable goals for yourself. Just because I have really high goals for myself doesn't mean I'm judging other people if they're not in super good shape and things like that. But um, for me, when I want to get into my best shape, it involves a lot of planning. So you know, being more active and really one thing that I do is I prep my meals because when I don't prep my meals, I just tend to eat whatever I can get my hands on or sometimes I don't eat and then I eat a lot and it's not the things that will build muscles and, you know, give me the kind of body I want. So anyway, I really try to pick up things that are good for me. Um, so I did my workout. I wrote everything down in my workout log. I see a lot of people at the gym and they're just kind of like working out aimlessly. I don't think they have, um, I don't think they have like a goal in mind. They just kind of, or maybe they do have a goal in mind. I'm sorry. Most people probably do, although I'm not sure that they actually wrote down what their goals were. Um, but I think that when you write down what you did the week before, it's much easier to know that you're getting better. And if you're not getting better, and you're not getting stronger at the gym, then your body is not going to look that different. So if you're just kind of like going to the gym and you're phoning it in and you're doing, I mean, I hate to say, but the minimum, because I do see a lot of that at the gym and I know people are trying, but I think you have to know that you're getting a little bit better, a little bit stronger, and you can do a little bit more at the gym or you're probably not going to make noticeable changes. So. I wrote down my workout. I did either more reps or more um, more weight with every exercise. I'm not really trying to increase the weight that I do extremely fast simply because usually I'm really regular about going to the gym. I keep myself in really good shape and things like that, but I'm not very strong right now. So I don't go into the gym and work out so hard that I'm crazy sore and things like that. I respect my body and my joints and things of that nature. I'm 44 and um, I think my chances of injury are probably a little bit higher than ever. But that said, I, I mean, I've hurt my back when I was, you know, 28 or 30. So I don't think it's just an age thing. I think that when you're getting in shape, yes, you want to challenge yourself, but you don't want to be foolish about it and do too much. So I think a lot of people think they have to spend like two hours at the gym or they won't get in shape. That's definitely not the case. Um, I was in and out in less than an hour, I got a great workout in, and I'm grooming these little babies so that they can actually see because her, like, this is Poppy and her hair was totally over her face. So we're gonna go for a walk in the park, and after I walk the dogs today, I have some groceries coming. So I'm gonna be putting together a little bit of lamb chili in my crock pot, which will be ready tomorrow. Um, and I have a few other things coming. I'm gonna make some roasted carrots and just some healthy snacks and things like that. So hope that that's helpful for you. Sorry that I'm doing other things while I chat, but I think that is the nature of my, my vlog. And yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to go on my walk and I just realized that I did not publish my YouTube video this week. So seems like there's always something to do that's work. Um, so I'm doing that and then I'm gonna go out on my walk before it gets dark and then on to food prepping. So when I'm pushing forward with fitness and business, there's not a lot of free time to sit and do nothing, that's for sure.